we left off yesterday as our superheroes marched away to celebrate Scuba Man's birthday. They had just locked up Great White and Octopus in the Scuba Cave. Is the Scuba Cave secure enough to hold these vicious villains? It looks like the coast is clear. Now that was amazing! If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it! What? You mean you didn't know octopuses were famous escape artists? All it takes is a small hole and a little determination. You should have seen my 600 pound cousin. He squeezed through a tube the size of a quarter. Amazing! I'm just glad the dopey duo wasn't aware of my capabilities. We'd better get out of here before they come back. Oh, yeah. Hey, boss, what about us? Uh, we'll come back for you in a minute. What are you talking about? We're not coming back here. I know that. You know that. They don't need to know that. <laughs> come on, let's go. Oh, wait. Look, the scuba sub. I'll drive. Well, uh, I wonder how you start this thing. Try that one. Excellent. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Scuba Sub Flight 1A bound for the Bahamas. <laughs> well, that was a wonderful meal. Thanks, Dolphin. Oh, you're most welcome. It was the least I could do for our friendly neighborhood Superheroes. <laughs> I love these things. Wait. Something's not right. You're right, something's missing! I don't see anything different. I just think it's the light coming through the cave. No, that's not it. It's just... There's something missing. Oh, that's easy. The scuba sub's gone. What? Blubbering, blubbering fish! Scuba man! They're gone! Who's gone? Great white and octopus. You mean that great shark is on the loose again? I'm afraid so. How'd they get away? Octopus is an excellent escape artist. We must have underestimated them. Now, we can only hope they underestimated us. Right! Back in the flesh! Scoop man! What are you going to do? You see, we've equipped the scuba sub with a remote control for just an occasion such as this. Wow, you guys think of everything. <laughs> Soon these villains will find out they aren't as clever as they think! Looks like they're not wearing seatbelts. That's a code violation. They're not making it any easier on themselves, are they? Seatbelts on! Autopilot on! Let's bring them home, buddy! They're on the way back! Let's go! I wish I could see the looks on their faces right now. I think I hear something.
I sure hope you're right. Say, I've been thinking about something. How would you like to join us on the Oceanland Welcome Committee? Me? Yes, you. I think you'd be great. You're young, you're energetic, and you're friendly, just like me. I think you'd be amazing. Well, I don't know. I mean, Oceanland is a beautiful and amazing place, but my family's gonna miss me. I didn't think about that. I sure understand, but, well, I'm gonna miss you. I have the scuba cave at maximum security. I have cameras set up everywhere, so there's no way they're getting out. Nice. Okay. Here's another Bible, Mandy. You know, it was a real good thing you did back there. Give your Bible to Great White Octopus. Good us. Thanks. So, uh, what's going on here? Something could change in the current. Yes. Mandy is leaving us. Why are you leaving so soon? Well, my family's gonna miss me. But the only problem is, I don't know how to leave. The door! What door? That door. Wow. Mandy, let this door be a reminder to you that there's only one way to escape the flood, you know, through the door of the ark. There's only one way to be saved and go to heaven. That's through the door, Jesus Christ. Just like Jesus said in John 10, 9, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he shall be saved. And that's a message that the whole world needs to hear. I'll try to remember that. You know, I'm really gonna miss you guys. so peaceful I didn't have the heart to move her. <laughs> Great White bring the scuba so back. I told him I need to go home. Oceanland. Baby. Why am I? Why are you here? Oh wait, can y'all breathe underwater too? Baby, <laughs> you're home. We live here. Look, Daddy got home from work. The catalog. What? You remember last night before you went to sleep? You were reading that aquarium catalog. And I said that you would probably fall asleep and dream about it. Looks like you had some pretty crazy dreams. Oh, I'll get it. Hey, Wayne. Hello, Bruce Arena and company. Uh. No. It wasn't a dream. It was a real life place. You guys were there. And you were too, Mom. <laughs> Baby, it was a dream. Are you disappointed? A little bit. But now that I'm thinking about it, it was actually kind of funny. You were a dolphin. A dolphin? 
<laughs> I can see the resemblance. <laughs> How about an angelfish? Or a crab. <laughs> hey! Wait, who are we? Oh, you're going to love this. You both were superheroes. <laughs> you were Scuba Man. <laughs> and you were Snorkel Boy. Seriously. Snorkel Boy. <laughs> but I also kind of rediscovered the Bible while I was there. Really? That's great, sweetheart. Yeah, it was interesting. There was this... There was only one way, and it was through this one special door. Just like there's only one way to get to heaven, and that's through Jesus. Wow, that was an amazing dream. Yeah. Are you guys sure it wasn't real? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sure it wasn't real, but I'm very glad God used it to teach you some really good things. All right, hey, let's go get some breakfast made. Don't worry, Mandy. I'm standing guard. Remember, the Bible is the guard for your heart. <laughs>